Welcome to Essentials Explained. If you came from our previous video, we walked through three different methods for completing a two-dimensional lookup in Excel, an index match match, and two variations of the X lookup formula. In this video, we are going to walk through what is, in my opinion, the easiest and best way for completing a two-dimensional lookup. We discussed how to do a two-dimensional lookup to pull in the appropriate discount information for a sales database based on the store number and the product information, which looks up on a discount table. We walked through how to do this with an index match match, a X lookup by transposing the data, and then an X lookup with the combination of offset. Let's talk about how to do this with just an X lookup, which is by far the easiest method to use. So you can write X lookup. Your lookup value will be your store number or the value you want to match. That is your column. Your lookup array will be the column in your table, F4 to lock that in place. And then your return array will be another X lookup and your lookup value will be your product or the value you want to match in the headers of your lookup table in the row. My lookup array will be the headers, so the row in my lookup table, F4 to lock that in place, and then my return array will be the whole table of when I want to return. So I'll highlight that full array, F4 to lock it in place, and then I can close those parentheses and fill this down. And what I've accomplished is the same exact thing as these three other methods, but quite a bit simpler. So let me pull up the evaluate formula tool on row three, just to walk you through how this formula works. So I've done an X lookup on cell A3, which is store 55. And then my return array is an X lookup on product E with a lookup array of M4 through R4, which returns the array of Q5 through Q104, or the appropriate column that I want to return with my original X lookup. So modifying my return array to pull from the appropriate column. If I hit OK, you can see I returned 69%. If I do the same thing on my first row, I do a lookup on store 75, and then my second lookup looks up product A, which returns M5 through M104, so the column associated with product A in my lookup table. If I want to visualize this very easily, I can copy the X lookup from my previous formula, and then if I write equals and then paste it in cell K5, I've returned the same exact thing as my lookup table, where 48%, 40%, 47%, 42%. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and check out the other videos on our channel.